Today's Broncos Breakdown is presented to you by the Fetch Rewards app, where you can earn points on any receipt from any store or restaurant and then redeem those points for gift cards and other great rewards. Check them out, chatsports.com slash fetch. I'll tell you more about them later on in today's video, so stay tuned for that. But let's get into what today's video is, which I think is a pretty fun one. It is having a little fun with looking at some potential Melvin Gordon replacements because... RB1, Melvin Gordon, set to hit free agency. And when you draft a running back in the second round like the Broncos did last year with Javante Williams, I don't think you aspire to keep the old guard around. So before we check out some potential replacements for Melvin Gordon, who's your favorite Broncos running back of all time? Go a handful of directions, honestly, right? So let me know who your favorite is down below to kind of kickstart today's video. And then we'll have some fun in the comment section to see how many great names we can pull together. Let's check out the depth chart, though, for the Broncos to sort of set the table for this. You got Gordon, who's going to be a free agent, and then Javante Williams at RB2. I don't have any faith whatsoever in Boone, Crockett, or Killens. Crockett and Killens are just more of your practice squad taxi guides anyway. And Mike Boone, he had a nice preseason slash training camp last year, came over from Minnesota, but hurt his quad and just never got right or was never able to get on the field. So first thing first, thing first if the Broncos want to replace Melvin Gordon via free agency, let's see who they could go after, right? Who they want to break the checkbook out for, kind of like they did a couple of years ago when they brought Melvin Gordon in for free agency. So here are five names that I would be looking at if I'm George Payton to maybe sign to bring in and work with Williams, James Conner, Rashad Penny, Rashad Penny, Leonard Fournette, Sony Michelle, and Marlon Mack. I don't think Denver wants to be one of the bigger buyers for a running back when you've got Javante Williams. So you're looking more for a nice buddy for Williams to hang out with in the locker room. And also, of course, a, a be a contributor on the field. But one guy I'm kind of looking at closely is James Conner. Because Conner had a breakout season. After a good start in Pittsburgh, after his contract was up from his rookie deal, the Steelers decided to go with Najee Harris and draft a running back and move on from James Conner altogether. And then Conner gets picked up by the Cardinals and comes out of nowhere, right? Gets over 1,000 yards from scrimmage and I believe led the NFL in total touchdowns at 18 for all running backs and wide receivers. Don't fact check me on it. Don't quote me on it. But I think he did with 18 compared to six he had just a season ago. So James Conner will be an interesting name to keep an eye on. We'll check him out in just a second. But who do you want the Broncos to sign? If it's one of those five guys, let me know the name you like the most down below. Or maybe it's someone else. Maybe you'd rather go a different direction than the five names I outlined. Love seeing what you guys have to say. So let your voice be heard down below. Another name to keep an eye on is Rashad Penny. The former San Diego State Aztec, who was a late first-round pick for the Seahawks a couple seasons ago, did not get off to a good start to his career because he just couldn't stay healthy. But the last five games of the 2021 season, he was awesome. 600 yards, average seven, and six scores to go along with it. We'll tell you more about Penny in just a second, but I want to tell you about this awesome deal when you can go to uh, chatsports.com slash fetch. It's our proud sponsor today, and all it is basically is you take receipts that you already have crumpled up in your pocket or in your purse or wallet, and then you scan them like you see on the video, and then it turns into points, and all you do is take those points and redeem them for gift cards that you're going to spend anyway at those favorite spots, so whether it's mom and pop or Walmart or Target. You're shopping there. You're shopping on Amazon. Why not take those receipts turn them into gift cards, and go spend them at the spots you're going to go to anyway. So check it out. It's an amazing deal going on at chatsports.com slash fetch. All that information is high up in the description of the video. It's also in the comments. And most importantly, it's completely free. So when you go to chatsports.com slash fetch, use the promo code Broncos. That way they know I sent you. You get 3,000 bonus points, and you can return those points into gift cards. Let's rewind to Rashad Penny, though. I think Rashad Penny might be the best bang for your buck because I have no idea what Penny is going to get on the free agent market this offseason. If he didn't have those last five games, he'd go for a minimum deal if he even got signed to a team. But because he did finally live up to that first-round status, maybe he can swindle himself into getting a nicer deal. But it's hard to say. If you can sign Rashad Penny for cheap money, but get the last five games out of him, but over the course of a season, 
That would be the greatest running back signing in quite some time, in my opinion. So I like the idea of going for Rashad Penny if he's cheap. If his agent comes out and says, I only want you to look at the last five games and forget all the bad games before that, I'd say, sayonara, we'll go a different direction. But if his agent's like, yeah, he'd love to come to Denver and you can get the last five games production out of him for a cheap deal, that's like a pretty good duo to me between him and Williams. If you guys are excited for free agency, by the way, like I am, because I love NFL free agency, when you're constantly refreshing your Twitter feed and looking for notifications on your phone to see who the Broncos signed, then this is the spot for you. Hit that big red button, subscribe, because every time the Broncos make a signing, I guarantee you we're going to have a video coming your way. So make sure you are subscribed and your notifications are turned on because free agency is just a month away and you don't want to miss a video when it comes out. Next, we'll check out some replacement options for Gordon via the NFL Draft. I like this idea a lot more because when you draft players, they're cheaper. Their contracts are pretty much written for them unless it's a early first round guy and you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money in free agency you can give him a rookie deal for a fifth rounder however I would not pick a running back until day three of the draft I don't want to see a running back picking in either first the second or the third round the, the Broncos just have way other bigger needs and important needs to address than getting an RB2 when the, in the third round fourth round probably still too soon Fifth, sixth, or seventh. I like fifth or sixth idea. And I think some of these guys will be there in the fifth or sixth round. Um, Hassan Haskins, if you watched any Michigan football, the boss man here at Chet Sports is a huge Michigan guy. So we all watch Michigan, and he was just an electrifying back. James Cook and Brian Robinson out of the SEC as well. Eric Gray um, at Oklahoma, he was pretty darn good. And Tyler Batty, I just like his name so much that I put him in the video. But Hassan Haskins for the Wolverines this year, he was paired in a bit of a crowded running back backfield, but he still put up very productive numbers 1300 yards and 20 touchdowns that's the beauty of college football you get numbers like that there you go how could he not be productive in the NFL well in the college ranks he gets to play the school of the blind and deaf in September you don't get that in the NFL always speaking of college though shout out your college team for me curious I am a Tennessee guy went to the University of Tennessee in Knoxville so go Vols but if you go somewhere else or hopefully don't go to Bama or Georgia or Florida like my producer Jeff is a big fan of then we have nothing to uh, we have, we'll, we'll get along just great but if you did go to Georgia or Alabama then I'm sure you saw these two guys a couple of times James Cook who also was handcuffed in the backfields just didn't get quite the amount of opportunities he would have liked but Brian Robinson for Alabama as far as our Alabama running backs go, he's maybe a little underwhelming, but the bar is set so high in Tuscaloosa for the backfield when you've got several Heisman winners like Mark Ingram and Derrick Henry, uh, Trent Richardson, Eddie Lacy. Honestly, so much that you kind of forget a couple of them. Uh, but as for James Cook, he's the brother of Dalvin Cook. So if he just gets half the DNA that Dalvin's got, it's got to be a half decent back for a fifth or sixth round pick. So that's why I like the idea of drafting someone because the draft route is just so much cheaper. When you draft a player in the fifth round, you don't have to pay him much. If you sign someone, you got to give them you know, a veteran, a nice big contract a lot of times. I like the idea of drafting someone. I like to see the idea of giving Williams a big lion share of the workload because you know what? When you draft a running back in the second round, you better expect to give him a lot of the carries because what's the point of investing a second-round pick in someone if you don't want to give him a bulk of the carries after his rookie season when he's entering his prime as a back? That's where I stand on this. All right, guys, that'll do it for today's Broncos Breakdown. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you can get in on all the know here at the Broncos Breakdown for the latest news and rumors, and we will catch you guys later here on the Broncos Breakdown.